Hi guys, you know what day it is. It is Thursday. Welcome to another edition of All Things Real Estate. Today I am talking about something that if you know me, you heard me rant about before and it is about bad MLS photos, guys. It's getting bad out there. I tell you what, um, you sellers are getting real confident about this market and you are putting up anything and everything onto MLS and that goes for you agents as well. Agents, you need to advise your sellers better than you're doing right now. I'm seeing way too many of these bad MLS photos online right now. And I am going to go over today just some super basic things that honestly should not have to be said, but it looks like it needs to be said about um, what people need to do to market their property just a little bit better to make a lot more money. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a funny little video, guys, today, because honestly, these are such basic things that I hope they'll make you laugh. Um, they honestly make me wanna cry as a real estate professional because I know better um, than to put pictures like this up on the internet. So um, here we go. We're gonna talk about some basic things that sellers need to do to make their photos just a little bit better. And like I said, you're gonna make more money if you just do these basic things, okay? Number one. Clean your darn house. <laughs> Seriously, clean the house. Just sweep the floors, make sure the toilets are clean, make sure the counters are clean. Um, just, that's so basic, right? Just make sure the house is clean so that when buyers walk through that door, they're not ooged out by the stuff on the floor, the counters, in the bathroom, that kind of thing. Bathrooms are oogie anyway. We don't wanna see an oogie bathroom, okay? Um, you don't want those MLS pictures of your dirty house online. And they stay online forever, right? So, so clean your darn house, that's number one. Number two, um, kind of goes along with clean the house, but it's clear the clutter. Um, I've seen so many pictures lately online that just, like the countertops are full, right? Um, the closets are busting at the seams. Uh, there's just stuff piled up in corners, piled up in rooms. I get it that, um, that we all live busy, um, sometimes messy lives, but when, uh, when you're taking photos of your house for sale, cleaning the clutter is just a super basic thing that you can do to make the house look bigger and let it show better, right? So that's number two, clear the clutter. Number three, this has been my pet peeve since I got into the business. And honestly, since I was looking at pictures to buy my own house, put the toilet seats down. It doesn't take two seconds to put the to toilet seat down before you snap a picture, okay? Put the toilet seat down. No one wants to see the toilet bowl, especially if you haven't done number one, which is clean your damn house, <laughs> okay? So number three is put the toilet seat down, please, please, please. Um, number four is put more than one picture up of your house online, okay? Don't snap a picture of the outside of the house, put it up, and then put your house up for sale. Nobody knows what the inside of your house looks like. Um, you're gonna get less buyers actually coming in and looking at your house, which means you're gonna get left less offers, which means you're gonna get less money. So put more than one house up, um, more than one house up, more than one picture of your house up online uh, before you list it, okay? And number five, even if you have a super basic house um, that is vacant and you know, you're know you selling it for your grandma who just passed away and um, you're not staging it, you're not doing anything, um, get professional pictures taken, okay? If your realtor is in the picture, either in the mirror or in a shadow, I'm sorry to say this, but I will say it to other realtors' faces, don't hire that realtor. If they put pictures up online of themselves in the picture, they are not a professional that you want to work with, okay? I'm calling it out right now. Um, so professional pictures are just super basic. They don't cost that much money. 150, 200 bucks. Um, most realtors, good realtors will pay for it. I will pay for it. Um, most good realtors will. It won't cost you as a seller a dime and it will make you a ton more money. So. 
Um, that is another super basic thing is professional pictures. So let me go over that list one more time. I have my little cheat sheet right here of the things that drive me crazy. Um, these will make you more money as a seller. Um, and they're super basic. If your realtor is not advising you of these things, call somebody else and get some more advice. Um, number one, clean your house. Number two, clear the clutter. Number three, put the toilet seats down. I have to say it in that voice because that's how I hear it in my head. Um, number four, put more than one picture online to get people interested in actually what's inside. Um, even if the inside is not so pretty, you'll, you're still going to get more buyers in through the house. And number five, professional pictures. And number five, A, on professional pictures, don't let your realtor be in the pictures, <laughs> in the shadow or in the mirror or anything else, okay? Um, so those are some real basic things that I am seeing happen uh, too often right now in the market. And um, I got to call it out today. So I hope you enjoyed that. Got a little laugh about it. Selling a house is serious business. I know that. I take it seriously. But, you know, got to be kind of lighthearted about what's going on in this crazy market right now. Everybody's just throwing anything up for sale because it's such a seller market. Um, that will change. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, the, the thing is that's so basic is that if you just do a few things, you're going to literally make ten or 20000 more dollars than if you don't do these super basic things. So... That is my advice today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you, um, if you like these videos, I hope you're subscribing and tuning in every Thursday. I super appreciate it. I also hope that you get in touch if you have any um, questions about the real estate market. Even if you're in another state or something like that, get a hold of me and I'll refer you um, to a great realtor there too, okay? Um, I hope you see, I see you next week on another edition of All Things Real Estate. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, oh.